If you want to develop a circuit board, the first thing you need to do is start with some CAD software. In the CAD software, there's typically two components. Layout, which is the physical arrangement of the components, the traces, the routing, i.e. the connections and whatnot. The schematic capture is the logical arrangement of the components. The schematic capture is effectively an assortment of components, all linked together with wires. Each component represents a physical component, so it might be a resistor, capacitor, diode, or integrated circuit. Creating these components is called component creation. This can be very laborious work, especially when you get into components that are 100 plus pins. With all the recent hype surrounding ChatGPT, I'm going to try to use it to create components. The 555 timer is probably one of the most famous integrated circuits ever created. Here I have a manually generated component, so I'm going to show you this in... So this structured text here corresponds to this component here. So this is a simple nothing component that I've just labeled 555 man for no particular reason. This gives an example of what the actual syntax for a component kind of looks like. Let's ask it if it can create me a component. Do you know what a 555 timer is? Yes, I'm familiar with 555 timer, blah, 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 blah. So, can you create an ICAD? Symbol, five, five, five. Sure. Okay, so obviously that doesn't look like this at all. This is the correct syntax for a No longer used in KiCad. A symbol. Oh, oh. Certainly. Okay. That looks correct. Okay, so let's copy. Let's copy this over to the. I got screen over here. Um, okay, I understand you probably can't read this here, but it's not super important. Um, so in KiCad, so this is generated.kiCad symbol. So I should have a file here called or a library here. So this is what ChatGPT just generated for me. Uh, okay, simple not found. Oh, it's just repeated, so... Okay, yeah, so sometimes it seems to cut off code if it's too long, so you have to say continue, but it's just gone ahead and repeated some code here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna manually remove the redundant information. Okay, so it took it that time. Let's go back to the symbol editor. Move this onto this screen. I'll close that. Generated. Cool. So there's nothing there. Um. So here's the. Here's what KiCad generated for me. So, here's what ChatGPT generated for me. Okay, so yeah, here's the problem. The pins, basically have the pins here. They need to be wrapped in this additional, they need to be wrapped in a symbol block. So let's say the pins should be wrapped in a symbol block. Let's just see what it says. Pins should be wrapped in a symbol block. You're correct. Okay, so I'm going to start putting this in here. 
<gasps> Copy paste. Okay, after all this time, I finally got the 555 timer generated. <laughs> it's actually, it looks terrible, but it's actually pretty impressive. So all the pins are wrong. But, I mean, the fact that it, I didn't tell it about the trigger control discharge and they're all, well, it's pretty wrong, but okay. What else should I tell it to generate? Something that wouldn't be in KiCad already, like in the libraries. Because 555 timer is already in the library. Let's go to integrated circuits. Let's just pick a random op amp. I see op amp, show what's this? I see op amp, general purpose, SOIC8. Okay, so do you know about the LM358DR2G? Okay, so it knows about it. Can you create a keypad symbol for the certain? Oh, this is getting scary now. Okay, so what do we have? Let's take a look at this parts data sheet. So this is a dual. Dual op amp. What did you get? Did you get the pins right? Okay, so it has eight pins. No, it has. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, so it's it's just listed them out of order. So let's see, pin eight. Is pin eight ground? No, pin eight is VCC. So that was pretty interesting. Is an AI about to replace hardware developers? Not yet. However, the fact that it was able to take a pretty loose description of a component, being 555 timer, op amp, and at least understand the amount of pins and those pin names is pretty impressive in my opinion. One thing to understand is that these language models are going to improve at an exponential rate. So in one, two, three, five years, I wouldn't be surprised if we see AIs that can basically generate components. And eventually, we're gonna see AIs that can generate entire circuits and do layouts. And eventually, we may not need hardware designers at all. But that's up to you. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you like this type of video, like and subscribe. This is a new channel, so it means a lot to me.